Seawater off Adelaide's desalination plant is being analysed to check the effects of hypersaline water on the marine environment. The research will be conducted over two years, but SA Water says early results indicate no harmful impact on the Gulf. As scientists conduct monthly monitoring in waters of South Australia's Gulf St Vincent, the tiny salt inspectors they've collected are being put to work in the lab. Phytoplankton may be some of the smallest sea creatures, but they're vitally important. Phytoplankton are basically the base of any food chain in aquatic ecosystems. They are primary producers and basically if uh, any change happens at that level of the food chain, that will ha impact higher levels. A federal government centre of excellence has commissioned Flinders University scientists to research how phytoplankton are affected by increased salinity generated by desalination plants. At full capacity, the $1.4 billion plant in Adelaide will pump 340 megalitres of hypersaline water into the Gulf each day. Some scientists believe the plant's diffusers won't properly dilute the brine, compromising the health of the marine environment. To date, our monitoring has shown that there are no uh, environmental impacts associated with the discharge of saline concentrate into the marine environment. Dr Latterm has been studying the changing structure of the plankton's shell-like bodies that contain tiny holes through which nutrients are absorbed. She's shown the holes grow bigger as salinity levels increase, but the nutritional value stays the same. What I can see so far is that the species are really adapting well to high salinity levels. At the end of the two-year study, scientists will create a universal model against which the marine impacts can be tested. Kim Robertson, ABC News, Adelaide.